I broke mine fairly quickly because I had been following Lisa Sunny stronger than before um, in the lead up to me leaving. And so I knew what a trauma bond was. I knew that I was in one and I knew that I needed to break it and break it fast. So the initial breaking of the trauma bond, I basically allowed myself to be like, you know, they say it's like bre uh, breaking an addiction from like hard substance. Um, and I do agree. Um, you go through withdrawals and things like that. And so I just allowed myself to go through the withdrawals and to feel yucky and to like lay in bed for a couple days. Luckily I was with my mom and my mom and my sisters came and played with my kid and like he didn't even really know what was happening. Um, and so I just let it happen. And now that's of course like the initial breaking of it. And then it was, it was so lessened after that initial breaking because I was no longer addicted, but it was still working through that process of healing from that. Like I said, the breaking of the initial trauma bond was fairly quick. And that's because I followed the steps that Lisa said. Um, and that I now tell people to do, go no contact, block them on everything, block everyone who knows them, everyone who's like talking about them still or asking you for information that they could be passing it on to them. Anyone who makes you feel like they made you feel like there were other people I had to cut out because I was like, mm, I don't like the way I'm feeling right now. And this is holding back my healing. Allow yourself to really feel it. Um, and I'm not saying that you aren't, but that's a really, really important part of breaking the trauma bond and then freaking run with it. It's it is. It really is like breaking an addiction. So we need to treat it the same way. Would you have alcohol in the room if you're an alcoholic? No. Would you have your abuser is still able to reach out for you if it's within your control, knowing that you were once addicted to them, no.